Hi friends, it's Jen LaMaster again, uh, sporting a new hair look because, you know, uh, I haven't had a haircut since February, so we're going to try this. All right, so this is a very quick tutorial on uh, Plus Portals, and this is an LMS created by Redeker, and I am borrowing uh, from my friend Leanne because I don't currently have a class that is open here. So this is your standard landing page. You're pretty used to this. What I always like um, teachers to do in this class summary section, we actually, I should say, I like teachers to do, and we make them do it, um, is put some information in here that welcomes students to your class, makes it a little bit more personal, uh, jazz it up a little bit. So if you hit that edit button, you see all kinds of options here to make your class summary page a little bit more fun. You can upload pictures. So we're going to go over here and we're going to upload a fun picture that I think Miss Parson will enjoy. Okay, now our students have a, hey, this is what this class is like. I can come over here and I can start putting in some text. Uh, one, some of the things that we require in this class summary for all teachers is to put in their name, their contact information, and a general course description so that students know what this course is about. Some teachers will actually post their syllabus. They'll copy and paste it in this section. And for us, the syllabus is mainly course expectations, uh, books that are required for course uh, classes, and maybe a couple of other statements. Your school will have varying and sundry things. As you scroll down, you can create assignments. And the nice thing about Plus Portals is you can make it to uh, visible to anybody in the school, visible to students and parents. Probably don't want to put not visible, at least uh, at the end, because you want people to see things. We will use the quiz feature quite as much as some others, but there is a feature in here announcements and alerts, and your links and your files. These are very important places for our teachers. I might put a link in here to uh, a website that we're going to use quite a bit. I teach newspaper on a regular basis, and so my links that I have added in there are typically um, to the AP Style Guide online so that students can access that. Um, newspaper, uh, the front page today uh, is a great resource for newspaper because it gives you the, the front page today. And it's just thousands of newspapers and what their front page looks like. So these are links that students are going to go to over and over again. Excuse me, whilst I fix my collar. Files here uh, at Burbuff, we require that our teachers put a syllabus link there uh, so students and parents can see it. This might be uh, particular readings that you have that students should do that you don't want them to have to read the whole thing. It's excerpts uh, following copyright, any kind of file that might be important there. You can also create subfolders here. So if I add a new, I can make it a Great Gatsby folder, or I can make it, you know, whatever I might like to do. Uh, we're going to cancel that because this is actually a live class, so we don't want to mess up Ms. Parsons' summer speech. Lesson planner is very elaborate. You can use this in your school if you would like. It'll walk you through an entire unit. And once you have these, the nice thing is that you can copy it from year to year. Uh, and in this case, you can either put reading quizzes, quick little guides, whatever you want to do. Uh, Redeker does allow you to do Dropbox uh, and pickups. So you can create your assignment and have students upload and you will get a record of the upload date. So if that is uh, particularly important to you um, and you can filter by all of these things. Uh, announcements. I prefer, quite frankly, to do email messages um, because of a couple of reasons. Uh, if I want to communicate with my students, uh, I like being able to send a new email. I can choose who I want it to go to, if I want it to go to students, if I want it to go to students and parents, or just parents, or just a student. And then you have your usual template 
uh, for sending information. Why do I like this over announcements? Uh, quite frankly, I like it because of a couple reasons. One, it gives me a record here that I communicated with the student, parent, or whomever I was communicating. Two, when a uh, parent, a student, whoever you have emailed responds back, it's actually going to go into your email. So it looks doesn't look like you're, it's coming through uh, Redeker. It looks like it's coming from your personal email. So you don't have to keep going in here to check it. Uh, it'll come up in whatever your regular school email is. But I really like having a record. So when I get a note from a parent that might say, I didn't know that my child was missing this test, I actually have a record in this email system to say, well, actually, yeah, we, we did communicate that. I'm sorry you didn't get it. Maybe, you know, say all of your nice, nice things there. Um, I will be very honest that we do not use Redeker as our main LMS uh, because it's pretty simple and it does not allow us to engage students in more active learning processes. Uh, Redeker plus portals is very good for sort of static materials. So upload readings, uh, upload uh, syllabi, upload uh, enrichment activities are great here. Uh, if you have a blended class where you're actually going to see students on occasion, put the links to any website that you used in class in here so students who are off-site can access the same thing as the students who are on-site. Um, and you might even be able to put little videos like this that talk to you about um, walkthroughs or trainings and all of that. But that's a really good place to put this information. So while I'm here, I'm going to show you really quickly because I am an admin in here and I can actually see everybody's accounts. I try not to snoop. That's why we canceled there. Uh, but in my hat, I am also a parent. So let me show you what parents see on the other side. So when I log in here as a parent, this is my son, William, and I would see his grades here, if he had any, because he's not in summer school, so he doesn't have any grades. If you put things in coursework and in assignments, it actually will show up in here, and I can see it as a parent, if you've said it can be accessible by students and parents. And down here at the school level, I can see school announcements and school files. I cannot see uh, if a teacher has uploaded a particular file or a particular reading. I have to actually go in um, over the shoulder on my son. So there's a little bit of privacy between you and the students that the, uh, and a surety that parents are not going in and taking the quiz for the child or submitting homework for them. But I can see school-wide things. So that is some ways that we use uh, Plus Portals at Burbuff. We actually like to refer to uh, portals as home base. So that's where all the critical information that the whole community would need to see. What's the class, uh, grading, attendance, major links, major assignments, and a way to interact as a teacher uh, with parents. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was a little bit helpful. I do hear that Plus Portals is coming up with discussion forums, so that's going to be new. I got the email on that. We don't have those turned on right now, but we will, uh, which was a major area that was missing, I think, in Plus Portals was that uh, discussion forum piece. So that will be exciting. Uh, and hope you enjoyed.